Welcome to Minecraft Hardcore, where we survived our first 30 days and managed to claim this little island as our sanctuary. We built a beautiful starter home and even managed to set up an enchanting room, courtesy of our neighbors. We might have borrowed a few books here and there, but that's what neighbors are for. While we did manage to get a pretty good amount of stuff done, we've still got a whole bunch of things that we really need to do. We do not yet have any cows or any sheep. We've got that spider spawner that we found that we still need to get set up for some XP. In addition to all of that, we've got three wood types that we have yet to find, mangrove, acacia, and cherry blossom trees. And we still haven't even found our very first village. So I figured what better way to start out the day than to set sail and see which one of those things we're able to knock out first. Well, this river has taken us a little bit away from our home base. And if we can't seem to find any sheep closer to home, we can always come back out here and go on a sheep rescue mission. Ah, uh, okay, well, uh, there's hope on the horizon. It, it's, not, it's not a new wood type, but I'm happy to find a village because it is the first one that we have seen. You know, since it's so far away from our base, I'm thinking that we need to see if we can convince one of the villagers to start a new lease on life and come back with us. So far, though, I don't hear any mumblings and grumblings of villagers. Um, I'll just help myself to a few things and tidy up a little bit here. I really hope this village isn't abandoned. Uh, I'm starting to get my hopes crushed a little bit here, but there's... There should be more houses, right? There's got to be more houses up top the hill. You know, it's times like these that I remember how nice it is to have rockets and wings. And apparently there are no houses up here. What? I can't be just a little village down- Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I climbed the wrong mountain. The Ooh, I see an outpost behind me. So, uh... I, yeah, I guess uh, I guess we'll be climbing again. That's if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. It's still very quiet over here. Oh, music to my ears. There's a villager somewhere. Where is he? Well, hello, good sir. I'll, I'll leave you to your business. Hopefully you've got more friends over here somewhere. Oh, hey, Tiny! Hang on, buddy. Let me get a few snacks and, uh... Let's talk about your future, kid. All right, little fella. I just need you to get in this boat. I wish I could grab two of them because I really don't want to have to come back here for, for a second one. But, um, you know, I guess we'll do what we have to do. So it's just a little tiny for now. Hey, are you serious? Are we, are we seriously stuck? Are we stuck on a path block? It can't get over that tiny, tiny, tiny little ledge. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. All right. The, what, are you serious? All right, come on, Tiny. Put a little bit of elbow grease into it. Come on, between the two of us, we can do this. Ooh! Tiny! Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Don't, don't, uh, don't run away. Trust me. There we, we go. Oh my gosh, that is the most ridiculous mechanic ever. That's embarrassing. All right, kid. Hang on, this is just like an amusement ride. Keep your arms inside the boat at all times. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> we made it! Welcome to your new life, Tiny. I mean... Yeah, sure, this is considered kidnapping in many jurisdictions, but trust me, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful new life for you. And for me. I don't necessarily know exactly how to get back home, but I'm assuming if I go in this general direction that... Why? Why me? Why? Why am I the way I am? How much closer is this to home? In any event, it's like how much easier than climbing a big gigantic mountain twice? All right, Tiny, you stay in the boat. No joy riding with your friends. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go check things out real quick.
tiny. Come on, kid, I wasn't gone for that long. I was gone for like two minutes max. Well, you'll always be tiny to me. Okay, so I didn't really plan ahead very well. I'm not quite sure where to put Tiny. I think I'm just going to make him a little safety spot over here. We'll give him like a little, I don't know, a little garage, I guess. We'll park his boat in there and... Oh, jeez, dude, I'm sorry. So I, I know this, this looks a little bad, but trust me, it's it's for the best. He'll be fine. We'll just block it off. Give him a little bit of mood lighting in here. And, you know, once we figure out where we're putting him and when we get him a friend, then we'll find him a proper place to stay. But for now, at least he's safe. So I threw down the little tidbits that I stole from, borrowed from the village, and I've decided that my bed now looks like a fried egg. Am I the only one that sees it? Well, after dropping Tiny off at home, I decided I was going to go out and look for some more wood types. And I went probably close to a good 1,500 blocks out in that same direction, and I found nothing. So I'm kind of over that right now. So I decided I wanted to finally see if I could find some cows or even some sheep. I, literally, I've been running around... Finally! <laughs> I spoke too soon. I, I've been running all around the land like on either side of the little island, and I've been seeing nothing except a couple of chickens and some pigs. Uh, I really want cows, but I will gladly settle for sheep right now. Well, it's about time. It's about time. I've never been so happy to see a wandering trader. In fact, I've rarely been happy to see one. Please have mangrove. Please have mangrove. Please have mangrove. Ah... Uh... Well, okay, I'm actually super happy to have the glowstone because I did want to do the redstone lamps at the house. Uh, and actually the nautilus shells, I'll take those too. Gotta run back and get some emeralds. Actually, let me just plop the invisible man down in a boat real quick so I can find him when I come back. Please don't despawn. <laughs> that would be the worst. Alright, I have got the goods and... Ooh! Creeper! Creeper! Alright, don't kill... Okay, guys, stay safe. Don't kill the traitor. Alright, relax. Easy does it. I think we've got some protection in the water here, don't we? Oh, please. Oh, okay. Ooh, crisis averted. Alright, good sir. I will take all of these. And I will take all of these. Okay, I know this looks really bad because I really don't like to kill things in the game. And if I think about it long and hard enough, I could probably come up with really a good reason to justify why I'm doing this. But it's really just because they're gross and they hack and they spit and I don't like them. Actually, he's not spitting at me. He hasn't spit at me once. Okay, I know this is probably really lame, but I feel really bad now. All right, buddy, I'm going to keep you. If you will let me tame you, I will keep you, and I will share the island with you. And I shall call you... Let me look at you. I shall call you Larry. You are Larry the Llama. I'm sorry for hurting you, Larry. I really hope I don't live to regret this. But I think that Larry deserves a chance in life, so now I guess it's the Emmy and Larry show. So now that we've made at least a little bit of progress, I think we should go just across the water over here and see if we can find some cows. I mean, there's got to be some in the vicinity somewhere, right? I it just, I don't, it doesn't make any sense why I haven't seen any over here. Ooh, I, I absolutely don't mind a nice big easy to get to lava pool. If only I had some dripstone, I could set up a little lava farm, but that's uh, very convenient. Okay, I've seen chickens, I've seen pigs, I have yet to see a single solitary cow. Is there some reason that I don't know of that they wouldn't be over here? I mean, it's not like cows are biome specific. I just never really paid much attention. I just, I'm so used to seeing cows wherever I go in any other world. Why are there no cows over here? This is one of those sidetracks I know I shouldn't do. I just, just a peek. 
Just a peek. Okay. Emmy, remember you're in hardcore. <laughs> do not do anything stupid. I, I really just kind of want to see if there's any dripstone. Like, rearing its head down here. Uh, I can't see anything. Nah. It looks like standard cave, and I really... As much as I do want to go down there, I don't because I... I don't want to die. So, alright, I'm going to resist temptation. And actually be responsible and continue the hunt for the cows. Maybe the birch forest part of things will be a little bit more lucky? Mm, no. Uh, <laughs> okay, there's gotta be something. What is, why, there's like no animals over here. I don't even see any pigs over here. Oh, I, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand. Yes! <laughs> Finally, a cow! I have never been so happy to see a cow in all of the history of Minecraft. Oh my gosh, finally. Oh, wait, actually, I need to find a second one, don't I? Don't they always spawn in twos or threes? Oh, there we go. <laughs> we are in business. Okay, so now it's just a matter of getting them back to the house, or actually not the house, but a, where the sheep are. We're going to make a little dirt pen for them right now until we can get a barn built. Hopefully somebody will actually get in the boat with me. You know, I always get the mechanics between Bedrock and Java a little bit confused, so apparently... Okay, apparently this is not going to be a thing, so we will just see if you can walk on water. And we'll... All right, so we'll get this first cow back to the dirt pen, and then I'll come back later for another. All right, well, we are actually off to a really good start so far, but I am bound and determined that we really need to get the wood types that we're missing out on, because we're going to probably want to use that wood for some of the builds coming up. And I think... Larry? Larry, you're in my... You're in scene, Larry. Now, even though it's nighttime, I feel relatively safe if we're in a boat on the water. I'm fairly kind of sort of certain that we'll be okay. And daylight's not too far around the corner, so... Pretty much the biggest thing ahead of us right now is deciding which direction we're gonna go. Another thing we have to think about is do we want to just go a couple thousand blocks in one direction and then... If we don't find anything, turn around and then try a different direction? Or do we just keep going in one particular direction until we find what we're looking for? As I've been tossing it back and forth, I'm kind of gung-ho to just keep going until we find the tree types we want because the back and forth and just going out a little ways I think is going to prove to be super frustrating. So I just am going to dedicate that we're going this way and we're not going home until we find those samplings. All right, finding all these treasures is really going to be a problem because we don't have a lot of inventory space, but I do not have the willpower to pass them by. So we're just going to do the best we can. I swear that if I die by drowning, that <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, and that's exactly why we take the time to do these things. Bingo. Oh, gosh. Okay. Ooh. Oh! All right, we're fine. We're good. We are good. One of these days, I'm going to push my luck, though. But the extra iron and a diamond, I mean, that's just... It's too good to pass up checking those things out. And we've got yet another sunken ship. All right, one more peek, because I think there should be another chest. Man, but this... This ship is... Oh! Oh, that's not good. That is not good. All right, where is he? Oh! Oh my gosh, he broke the boat! He broke the boat! Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. This is my worst nightmare come true. All right, okay, I gotta eat. Ooh. All right, eat, recover, eat, recover. All right, I think... Oh, we're not okay. We are not okay. All right, I've got the shield for a reason. Oh, this is really... This is freaking me out. Right, we have no boat. We're stranded at sea. There's nobody to come save us. I need to eat. I need to block. I need to hit. I need to do everything. Ooh. All right. Come on. 
Oh, please don't die. Don't let me die. Please don't let me die. Oh, I'm not doing well at all. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that. That was, that was terrifying. Ooh, I got the trident. I, I actually got the trident. I, I guess we, uh, <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, you know, no big deal. Just, uh, typical day at sea. Yeah, we're cool. Uh, well, move along. Since we are really close to the treasure on the treasure map, I figured we might as well go take a look for it. And in case you don't know the secret to finding where the treasure is buried, I will share it with you very quickly. Get yourself as close as you can to where the X is on the map. And then you pull up your F3 screen. And you look for the line that says chunk relative. And you want the first number and the last number to both be 9. And that is where you will find the buried treasure. Ah, I was hoping there was going to be some diamonds, but still... That's still a good haul. Okay, we've hit our first little snag of the trip. Uh, we have run out of water to boat upon. We are now at a big mass of land that we're going to have to travel across. And we've got all these treasures in the boat and no way to carry them all. So, the plan is we are going to leave the boat behind, make a note of the coordinates, and then hopefully find our way back here and then we'll take all of this stuff back home again. All right, morning has come and we will snap a photo so we can remember where we have parked. I hope you've got your comfortable shoes because we have got some walking to do. Actually, I think I'll, I'll put a little landmark so that uh, if we do make it back this way, it'll be just a little bit easier to find. And clutch move. Woo, I actually did it. So we need to get to the other side over there. So instead of getting the old boat out, I think we'll just take ourselves a little swim in the waters. And then once, oh, uh-uh, not again. All right, come on, I can do this. We did it before, we can do it again. Ooh, I, I don't have my shield. Well, I gotta get out of here. Ooh, go, 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 I need to eat. Oh, it's always so hard to know whether you should stop and eat or just run and get out of out of range of being hit. Oh, oh, I can still hear him behind me. Okay, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. But panic a little and go. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, was that one and a half hearts? I don't know, but I really, really need to stop doing that and just stay on task. Ooh. Oh, it is a beautiful, beautiful sight to behold. We have found the cherry blossom tree, my friends. Believe it or not, I have yet to use cherry wood in any build so far, but I'm going to try to make it a point to use it in this world. And do I need silk? Oh, I don't need silk touch for these. Fantastic. Oh, this is such pretty ground cover. All right, I am feeling extremely good about things. Well, hello, pretty horse. I actually, I have a saddle. Uh, all right. Let's see if you would like to accompany me on this little journey. You would be my first, yes, my first horse in this world. Not, not like I need a horse on a little island or anything. Now, we have a swamp out here, and a lot of times the mangrove is right, well, since it's a mangrove swamp, I guess, obviously, if got to get around, don't want to fall in there, that would be very tragic for both me and the horse, but let's see if we can identify any beloved mangrove wood. I think it is. It's kind of hard to tell from back here, but... I feel like that is mangrove wood. Oh, happy day if it is. You bet your sweet bippy that is mangrove if I have ever seen it. This is a fantastic moment in my Minecraft life. We had to travel so far. We're, what are we, like about 7,000 blocks away from home. But by golly, we've done it. All right. For the future, we're going to work smarter, not harder. 
And I'm not going to light it yet, but I'm going to place a portal down here and make a note of the coordinates. And that way, if and when we do actually make it into the nether, then we can link up a portal and get out here way, way easier than having to travel across land. All right, my faithful companion, I'm going to leave you out here. And hopefully we will be reunited down the road. And now that we are finally back home from our long journey, it is finally time that we start working on our spider XP farm. As you can see, I have been very busy digging out the room in here. For the most part, it's going to be pretty much the same as most of the other mob spawner farms. It's four blocks of air on either side of the mob spawner, as well as four blocks of air below. The main difference is that it's six blocks of air above with the addition of that chain above it. And that is to hopefully keep the spiders from jumping up there and collecting and slowing down our farm. So the only thing left to do for now is to work on the water pathway to get the spiders to the collection area so we can get that sweet XP and the spider drops. And now my least favorite part of any farm is having to <laughs> remove the torch. Uh, all right. I'm not sure. I think I, I did. I put it on the other side. So let me just to give myself every advantage possible. All right. I can do this. One, two, three, go. Run, run. Oh, I'm cutting the stream. Okay. Woohoohoo! <laughs> Crisis averted! Alright, now let's see how we do. Mind you, there's no enchantment whatsoever on this sword, so I'm sure it's gonna be. Yep, yeah, it's gonna take a few swipes, but, uh, you know, once we. Oh, I should have actually enchanted it before we did this, but. Oh well. Alright, let's turn on that brightness mod. Ouch! Hey! You don't belong here. Ooh, the ominous thunder. It adds to the ambiance of this, does it not? But yeah, you know what? This is going to work fantastic. Now that we've collected ourselves a pretty good number of levels, I think it's about time we head upstairs and put that enchanting room to use. Let's see if we can get something decent on a pickaxe and on our sword. All right, let's start our enchanting extravaganza with our sword. Ew, smite. Okay, let's start our enchanting extravaganza with our pickaxe. Silk touch. Oh, at least have efficiency with it. I can I can live with it if it has efficiency four or five or whatever. No. Oh. Well, you know, I'm grateful at least we've got an enchantment and silk touch will come in handy. So at least it's a starting point. We've got enough diamonds that I maybe accidentally made another pickaxe that we can try to enchant. Let's see what this one would get. Uh, unbreaking three. Come on. Fortune, fortune, fortune. Well, <laughs> at least it's at least it's efficient. When we uh, have enough iron to make an anvil, I guess we can combine that with our silk touch one. But onto the sword. Ah, oh, not really what I wanted, but I guess we can use it for the spider farm. And I hate knockback, but I'm sorry. I'm being, I'm I'm being. A, a, sp a poor sport, so I'll I'll be good. So, just for fun, let's see how much of a difference it makes. Let's run back down to the spider farm real, real quick. All right, let's see how we do. Oh yeah, it, oh it's it's noticeably better. It all it really needs now is sweeping edge, and you know this will be our go-to sword over here. Yeah, they're they're a one-hit kill now. It's just when they're bunched up, it seems like it takes a little bit of effort, but... Alright, I'm really happy with this. I mean, at least for the farm. A general purpose sword, I'm, I'm still going to aim for better. Well, that pretty much takes us through day 60. I hope you have enjoyed what we've accomplished today. And I hope that you will subscribe and join me on the next adventure. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I love you. Bye-bye.